Welcome dear students. Today we are going to learn about lesson number 2 animal lifestyles. Animals are found everywhere on the earth. The variety of animals on the earth is amazing. Animals, no matter where they live or what are their body structures, have to perform certain life's, life functions such as breathing and eating. Animals have certain organs in their body by which they perform this life function, functions. But not animals have similar organs. For example, the breathing organ of a dog is very different from a fish. This is because the nature has provided the animals with such organs that help them adjust with the environment in which they live. The environment in which an animal or a plant lives is called its habitat. Different animals, different habitats. The environment in which an animal or a plant lives is called its habitat. All animals and plants have the body structure and habits essential to survive in their habitat. The characteristic of an animal or plant that help it to adjust to its surroundings is called adaptation. So, different adaptations are needed for different functions. Next, we are going to learn about breathing. All animals need oxygen to breathe. The taking in of oxygen and giving out of carbon dioxide by living organism is called breathing. And next one, breathing. Lungs, spiracles and gills are different organs of breathing found in different animals. Some animals also breathe through their body surface. First, we are going to learn about lungs. How the animals breathe by their lungs? Birds, mammals and reptiles breathe with the help of their lungs. Reptiles are animals with scales on their bodies and mammals are animals which have mammary glands on and hair on their body. Human beings are also mammals. Human beings have two lungs inside their chest. These are back like structures. Human beings breathe in air through their nose. The air goes into the lungs. In the lungs, the oxygen of the air passes into the blood and it is then carried to the whole body. The carbon dioxide in the blood is released into the lungs from where it is breathed out. Next one, spiracles. Insects like flies, mosquitoes and butterflies breathe through air holes present in their body. The air holes are called spiracles. These are found on the sides of the body of insect. Air enters into the body of the insect through spiracles which lead to a number of air tubes. These air tubes form a fine network that allows the air to reach every tissue in the body of the insect. Next one, gills. Animals like fish, grabs and prawns that live in water breathe through their gills. Gills are feathery organs present on each side of the head of the animal. Gills have a rich supply of blood. During the water flow, oxygen dissolved in water is absorbed and carbon dioxide from the blood is released into the water that goes out of the body. A 
and next one some animals like earthworm breathe through their skin and some tiny organism like amoeba breathe through their body surface next one we are going to learn about feeding all living organism need food to stay alive food provides energy to the organism which helps them carry out various life activities food also help in the growth of an animal different animals eat different type of food their mouth parts are adapted to to the kind of food they eat on the basis of what animals eat they are divided into three categories first one herbivores second one carnivores and third one omnivores first we are going to learn about herbivores animals that eat plants are called herbivores for example sheep rabbit cow deer and zebra they have sharp front teeth for biting and large back teeth for grinding the food the sharp front teeth is called incisors and back teeth is called molars and smaller herbivores uh, like rabbit squirrels and rat they are having nibble at seeds and fruits with their sharp front teeth they are they, they are called rodents next one carnivores animals that eat flesh of other animals are called carnivores they have sharp pointed canine teeth to tear the flesh their back teeth are strong with sharp edges to chew the flesh and bones example lions tiger leopards and bats of prey such as eagle vulture have short cook beaks for tearing the flesh of their prey snakes also snakes are also carnivores however they do not have canine teeth to eat their eat their prey they poison their prey and then swallow it completely next one omnivores animals such as cockroach bear and crow eat both plants and animals they are called omnivores man is also an omnivore next one movement all animals move to search of food to protect themselves from their enemies and to find and build resting and breeding places animals so different types of movement they can run they can crawl they can swim they can climb limbs of the animals are modified according to the way they move next one we are going to learn about land animals most animals have four limbs two in the front that is called four limbs and two behind that is called hind limbs animals such as dog tiger and cat move on all four limbs these animals have strong limbs and can move fast reptiles such as lizards crocodiles and turtles have short limb that help them crawl human beings use their hind limb that is legs to stand and walk and next one water animals water animals move in water by by pedaling or pushing the water different water animals use different types of organs for swimming 
fish has fins and a powerful tail with help it move in water and maintain its balance the body of the fish is streamlined this means it is narrow at the ends and broad at the center turtles and tortoises have four pedal like limbs to push the water and move forward frogs have web feet to push back the water and move forward and penguin have two flippers which are actually their short strong four limbs next one animals that move in air birds have wings which help them fly their wings are the modified four limbs the wings are attached to their chest muscles bats move bats move by flapping their wings which are covered with feathers they have light hollow bones which make it easier for them to fly Birds use their two legs to walk, run, and perch on the trees. Next one, moving long distance. Sometimes it is difficult for the animals to find food due to the adverse weather condition. To escape harsh condition of weather, animals move large distance in groups. this mass movement of animals from one place to another to escape horse weather or due to shortage of food or uh, to find the safe place is called migration for example arctic tern it is the champion amongst migratory animals it travels a distance of 17000 km from the arctic to the antarctic during the winter season next we are going to learn about body covering different types of animals have different types of body covering their body coverings help them to live in different types of habitats first one scales bodies of snakes crocodiles and lizards are covered with scales this helps prevent water loss from their body and next next one cell animals such as tortoises snails and turtles are protected by a shell when these animals to find danger they withdraw their head and feet into the cell snails are commonly seen during the rainy season and next one for animals like sheep and bear have wool or fur that protects them from cold climate and next one spines the body of porcupine is covered with the spines that help them to protect themselves from their enemies and next one feathers the body of the birds are covered with the feathers that help them to, uh, help them to fly and also keep them warm the bo- the body coverings of some animals match their surroundings it makes the animals hard to spot and helps them to protect themselves from their enemies this ability is called camouflage Thank you dear students